Week 2 of the National Women's League is here with us. A little recap of what happened last season when both sides who are going to meet this weekend at the various match centers experienced. At the Northern Zone, Northern ladies will stay at home again and meet Kusa, that's Kumasi Sports Academy. Last season, during the truncator season, at match day one, they met and it ended in a 1-1 draw game. Prisons ladies met Ashtown ladies in March day 5 and at the end of the day, Prisons ladies won by two goals to one. This week they are going to meet again. What do you expect? Your guess could be good as mine as Prisons ladies lost at home to Kumasi Sports Academy. Supreme ladies in March day 7 last season. Supreme ladies lost to Fabulous ladies by a lone goal. Are they going to continue again as they are going to meet this weekend still in Kumase? In March day 6, Ampim Dakwa scored 3. Surprisingly, Pelpia ladies came from 3 goals down to level the score line. Are they going to see that again? In the Northern Zone this weekend, which is starting from Friday, Northern ladies will meet Kusada, Kumase Sports Academy. Ashtar will meet Prisons ladies in Kumase, Supreme ladies versus Fabulous ladies, and Ampim Dakwa ladies in Techiman will meet Pelpia ladies. Your guess could be good as mine as both teams or all the teams are really prepared for action match day one didn't go down well with some of the teams prisons lost at home are they going to repeat again or still they will get the three maximum points in the southern zone things were a little bit different very very different some of the teams had surprise score line in match day one what do we expect in match day two a season ago this was what transpired hazakis ladies won by far four goals to nail in accra they met immigration ladies this weekend they are going to meet again what do you expect matches have been played between both sides and still Hazakis ladies have had an upper hand over immigration ladies immigration ladies claim they are rejuvenated side what should we expect this weekend when they met in match day four Hazakis ladies won by four goals to nil Thunder Queens, formerly Samaria ladies in match day 6, had 2-2 two -two drawn with Lady Strikers. Don't forget, Lady Strikers lost at home to Hazakas ladies in match day 1. In match day 3, soccer intellectuals met formerly Halifax ladies. The game ended in one all draw. This time round, they say yes, the berries are sweet. They were very surprising when they met at the Medina Park and were able to overpower immigration ladies. Can they send their sweetness to the Ejumako Park? Sunday will be the day and you have to be there to witness it. Sea Lions and police ladies in March day 5 shared their scores as each team had a one goal in the basket. What do we expect as this time round they are meeting in March day 2? In March day 2, these are the fixtures. For the southern sector, soccer intellectuals will be locking horns with Berry ladies and at the same time Sea Lions will meet police ladies. Immigration ladies and Hazakas ladies will be a trailing encounter. Be at the Magdala Park and go and encounter a very enterprising game. Tender ladies and lady strikers will be the last match for the day when both sides meet in Accra. As a lover of women football, I urge you to be at the match venue. You saw what police lady did over the weekend. They came in an attire which portrays that yes, they are Africans, they are women. So it's women first before football. Be at any match venue this weekend and enjoy the fun. For all your updates on women football, like the Facebook page, Women's Football Ghana. Subscribe to uh, YouTube channel, Women's Football Ghana. Follow them on Twitter, Women's Football GH. I am Coach Yusuf Basigi, Head Coach, Hazakes Ladies.